Hey guys, it's Arena. Welcome back to Fantastic Korean Dishes, where we cook up simple but delicious Korean meals. Today, we're gonna make one of Korea's most loved dishes, and that is tapte. Tapte is glass noodles, stir fried with vegetables and a little bit of meat. It's savory and it's sweet, and it's pretty much loved by everyone. Now, tapte takes a little bit of time to make because traditionally, you have to prepare every single ingredient. But today, I'm gonna teach you one of the simplest ways to make it. It's a one pan recipe, and I'm so excited to share it with you. If you're ready, let's get cooking. So of course the main ingredient in tapte is glass noodles. When you get it at the store, at the Korean supermarket, it'll look something like this. It's dried. Now when you're making tapte for the first time, sometimes uh, it's really, really difficult to get a, a good idea of the portion size. So what I like to do is I put my thumb and index finger together and I wrap it around and this will give you about uh, enough noodles for about four people. Yeah, so this is how I kind of measure it. Uh, if, you, if you think that this is just not an exact measurement and you'd rather go the exact route, then 100 grams is what you would need, 100 grams of this. Of course, it's gonna be different once you soak it in water, but uh, if you can measure it, 100 grams. So in order to marinate our beef first, we're gonna make the seasoning for that. Okay, we're gonna put in one tablespoon of soy sauce one teaspoon of sugar or a sweetener of your choice, one teaspoon of minced garlic, a drizzle of sesame seed oil, and a pinch of black pepper. I'm gonna give it a nice mix. Now you'll see in a little bit that the uh, seasoning for the tapte uh, is actually very similar to the marinade for the beef. Now the reason you wanna marinate the beef first is just so you can get that deep flavor within the meat as opposed to just kind of like a surfa surface level um, seasoning. Uh, also, you know, just having the minced garlic and the soy sauce and all these ingredients will help to just tenderize the meat as well. So we're just gonna leave it in for a few minutes. Next, you're gonna need 150 grams of thinly sliced beef. Uh, it doesn't matter too much of what kind of beef you're getting, but um, I feel like sirloin is best. So today I have 150 grams of um, sirloin and I've Kept it in a bowl with some paper towel just to drain some of the blood. And I'm just gonna tap the top as well, just one more time. And when you drain the blood, it takes that gamey flavor out. Now I'm gonna layer them on top of each other uh, laterally. I'm gonna uh, slice it thinly, maybe about centimeters in width. Okay, then we're gonna take our marinade. I'm gonna put the meat in here. And using chopsticks, I'm just gonna give it a nice stir. Just be very careful because the meat is uh, very, very fragile, just because it's very thin. Just gently mix everything together. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot sesame seeds. Okay, we're gonna put in some sesame seeds. Um, now, in order to really get the flavor out of the sesame seeds, it's better to crush them, maybe about a half a teaspoon, and put it in. And that will release all of the flavors inside the sesame seeds. Okay, we're gonna give it a nice mix. Okay, and it's nice to start with the meat first, that way you give it time to uh, marinate while you prepare the rest of your ingredients. All right, now we're gonna prep our vegetables. So let's start with the onions. We're gonna need half an onion sliced thinly. And we want lots of onions in this recipe because uh, I'm gonna reduce the sugar and try to get that sweetness out of the onions. Okay, we want lots of onions in this recipe. Next, you're gonna need about one-fifth of a carrot. So what I do is I like to cut just 
one end so it's nice and flat. I'm going to slice six thin slices. So rounds like this. Okay. I'm going to stack them in threes and then julienne them. So you want all the vegetables in this recipe to be sliced nice and thin. And when you do this, not only does it take uh, a lot less time to cook, but it also looks really nice with the glass noodles. It's also much easier to eat. Next, we're going to need about eight stems of green onions. And I'm going to cut them in pinky lengths. So I'm going to cut them once in the middle. And I'm going to stack them together and cut them in thirds. And then you'll end up with something like this. Is that a pinky? Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. It's exactly my pinky size. Next, we're going to prep our mushrooms. Now, if you guys know me by now, you'll know that I love mushrooms. Uh, mushrooms are great in this recipe because of its chewy and meaty texture. Um, I like to get mushrooms that are kind of like uh, long and thin. I think they go really well with uh, so we're going to start off with oyster mushrooms, and oyster mushrooms look like this. They're kind of bunched at the bottom. Just use your hands to pull them apart. Okay, oyster mushrooms are done. Next, we're going to prep our shiitake mushrooms. So shiitake mushrooms have a big stem right here. If you're careful, you can peel it out with your hands. If you just cut off the bottom tip, you can use the rest of the stem um, in, in whatever recipe you're making. You can use it for broth as well. And for the tops of the shiitake mushrooms, I'm just going to thinly slice them in similar widths or th similar thickness as the onions. When you pick shiitake mushrooms, get the ones with lots of wrinkles. These are called fissures. The more fissures uh, a shiitake mushroom has, the better tasting it is. And in Korea, uh, you, they actually sell for a lot more compared to the shiitake mushrooms that are nice and smooth, okay? So keep that in mind. And last, I'm gonna put about 50 grams of uh, beech mushroom. I'm actually just gonna cut the bottom part off and then separate the rest with my hands. And these tear apart really easily. Last but not the least, you're gonna need a red chili pepper. Today, I'm gonna to actually make a milder version. Just cut the top off and then cut it down the middle and you'll get something like this. I'm gonna lay it down flat and using my knife, I'm just gonna slice off the middle part. I'm going to do the same to the other half, lay it flat. Okay, so I've removed the seeds and I'm going to slice them thinly on a bias so they're nice and long. And if you can't take any spice at all, um, you can just use like a red bell pepper instead of these and just uh, cut them thinly. Same thing, just julienne them nice and thin. All right, let's make the seasoning for the tapte. We're going to put in one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of vegetable umami. We're going to put in one and a half tablespoons of sugar, okay. one teaspoon of minced garlic, two tablespoons of sesame seed oil. So one of the signature um, tastes in tapte is actually sesame seed oil. Uh, tapte is savory and sweet, but it's got a very strong, nutty flavor from sesame seeds. So it may seem like a lot, but uh, this is the right amount. Instead, when we are fr uh, frying it in the pan, uh, I'm going to put in less cooking oil. Uh, we're going to put in one tablespoon of toasted sesame seeds. Uh, we're going to put in a little bit of black pepper, maybe about a third of a, a teaspoon. All right, let's give this a nice mix. Make sure that you dissolve the sugar. I'm gonna give it a quick taste. Mmm, yummy. So my glass noodles have been soaking. Uh, they're a little bit long, so I'm gonna cut them twice. So I'm gonna cut them once down here, and you have a loop here. 
in and once right in the loop. So I'm going to cut them in thirds. Okay. So I've drained the water. Uh, now we're ready to cook everything together. So I've put the heat to medium high. I'm going to put in all three of my mushrooms just to make sure that they don't burn. And once you see that your mushrooms are, are, ni are a nice golden color, I'm going to put in a tablespoon of cooking oil. Today I'm using grapeseed oil. And then I'm going to put in the onions and the carrots. Wow, that smell is just amazing. Okay, I'm going to create a little hole and put in the meat. And I'm going to cook this until the beef is uh, somewhat brown and you don't see any more of the uh, blood. Next, we're going to add in the glass noodles. Just mix everything together. Okay, we're going to add in the sauce. Okay, now the glass noodles have become nice and soft. Just going to give it a, maybe about 10, 20 more seconds. And at the very end, I'm going to add in the green onions and the red chili peppers. And the reason I put the green onions last is just so you get more of that crunch and that freshness uh, from the green onions. We're ready to plate it. Look at that. Look how amazing this looks. Okay, and I'm going to garnish it with some sesame seeds on top. And how beautiful does this look? This looks amazing. Okay, let's give it a taste. It looks so good. And you know what? This tapte looks like a million bucks, but it was so easy to make. Okay, we're going to take some noodles. Really want to try the noodles. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that is so good. Mmm. The noodles and the mushroom are extra chewy and soft. And it's flavorful, but it's not salty at all. It's not overly sweet, like sickly sweet. It's just perfect. Wow, this is really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one pan recipe for chapche. Not only is it so easy, it's so delicious and it's going to save you from washing a ton of dishes. So give it a try at home. I will be back again with another fantastic Korean dish. So stay tuned. In the meantime, stay happy, stay healthy and I'll see you soon. Bye!